Hello, my fellow food flock and my online flock. And as always, go flock yourself. We're here at the 30th Street Station in Philadelphia with another fun, maybe exciting, possibly action-packed, who knows, award-winning, probably not, episode of that show you've all come to know, love, and or possibly hate, Fat Guy Theater. I'm the Fat Guy, and wherever I'm at, that's my theater, which today happens to be the 30th Street Station, which can be seen in the movie Blowout. I do believe it can be seen in many other movies, uh, Witness comes to mind, but Blowout is one of my top five all-time favorite movies. If you haven't seen it, you got to see it. And uh, some of it is filmed in this station and right outside of it, so. But anyway, so, uh, you know, I like talking about insane shit now and then. <laughs> and I'm literally going to talk about shit. You know how sometimes people say, you know how people sometimes say eat shit and die? That's the wrong way to say it. This is how I figure it. You would say eat shit and live. Why would you say that, you ask? Well, if you tell someone to eat shit and die, then they die. They're not tasting anything. They're just dead. It's all over. But if you tell them to eat shit and live, then they're still alive and they got the taste of shit in their mouth. And chances are they don't know who it came from, where it came from, how it got there, why it's there. Well, actually, you know why it's there because somebody wished it for you to eat it and not die. But you don't know where it's from. Unless it's a giant green blob, then chances are that's probably from a goose or someone who really needs to get their plumbing checked. Now one day I was on the bus and I was talking to one of the drivers and I told him my little quote about instead of saying eat shit and die you ought to say eat shit and live and he said you're a sick sadistic bastard and I said I agree with two out of three of those. I'm not a bastard. I know who my parents are. So anyway, but I guess I'm sick. Maybe I'm sadistic. Or if uh, I might just have a crazy sense of humor. Now in the background, you can hear train announcements, uh, you know, so, like last call and whatnot. If by the time last call rolls around and you're not on the train, what the fuck are you doing? Now maybe it's because I'm from the Northeast and I'm chronically impatient. Or maybe I'm just not a jackass. Well, I, I'm quite capable of being a jackass, but I like to, you know, get on the train long before it leaves. That's just me. I don't know. Now here, I'm not even taking a train. I just came here to film the regional rail outside, which I'm going to do in a minute. But when I'm here, I thought, you know, I'm not get a donut and have a soda, and I like this train station, so. It's, uh, you know, it's as good a place as any to hang out, if you ask me. It's, I enjoy it. Uh, you know, anytime I get a chance to hang out at the train station, I'm going to take it. And uh, since I live in Philadelphia, Come here whenever I want. Anyway, now that I said that, I'm going to end this note with the congratulations to the Florida Panthers on winning your first Stanley Cup. Um, I'm not a Panthers fan nor an Oilers fan. Devils and Islanders. And I casually pay attention to the Canucks and Kraken, but 
I like parts of the Northwest, but um, I'm glad Florida finally was able to uh, hoist that Stanley Cup. I mean, it looked like maybe they were going to blow it. I don't know, but they didn't. And speaking of blowout or blow it, uh, that happens in blowout. Someone gets blown, and they're also. Could be a blowout, who knows? You gotta watch and find out.